also known as tape. Oops, I bumped my table. You wouldn't believe what I've had to do to set this up just to show the pages that I colored. And I <clears throat> have had this book for a couple of months and I did one page out of here for October. Um, I tried a lot of new things here. I used um, pastels and tried to make it glowy and I used some new supplies that I'll show in another video. I also bought The Witch's Cottage this past month and I did the first page just playing around with some of the Derwent drawing pencils which is one of the new supplies that I got and the name page but I haven't finished it and then I did a buddy color with some people on Discord and I don't know actually if anybody else finished it but here's mine I tried new things here as well I, I had never done bokeh before um, so that was new and it kind of got delayed in finishing it because I bought a new pencil sharpener and um, I didn't know exactly what I was doing and this pencil here uh, kind of got a, it, it was kind of a mess. This is mostly done with Prisma colors, but these are the Brut Funer um, Macaron crayons or pencils. Um, and this book I have a few things that I want to continue trying to do, but this was done with the Dermot Graffitent pencils, which I also got brand new. This is entirely done with that. It's, it's okay. Um, yeah, it turned out all right. It's a little bit on the, um, muted side of things, but I had fun and I actually really love the Derwent pencils. And I've had this book, it was probably one of my first coloring books that, um, my in-laws bought for me forever ago. Um, I don't know for sure if I finished this page in October or if it was um, end of September. Uh, there's a lot to it. And this one I had, um, you know, this is all my Prismacolor pencils. So it's got little aliens and stuff. There's a lot of coloring. It took me a long time to do that one. Um, but I figured I'd show it in this video. And then in... Kawaii Kitty's coloring. I tried coloring a page with mostly alcohol markers. Um, I have some weird brand of them and um, so I just used them it, and then I used colored pencil over it. And I actually like how the, how bright and pretty it is and I tried some other things with uh, pastels as well on there to give it that thing, you know, that look. And then I did a page out of Mythagoria Gory Underworld. And I wanted to do more pages. I had planned to do more, but I ran out of time. And this is the one that I was able to complete. And um, I actually am pretty proud of myself for how this one came out. Um, I tried to make the moon be an eclipse kind of moon and the I used graphitants on here and I used prisma colors and I used some um pastels and I just I don't know, Derwent drawing pencils and I really really like it um I just finished it up I colored one page out of, oops, bumped my camera, uh, this horror kawaii, and so this one here, and there's um, some new things that I did on it too. I had I, I don't really know what to do with backgrounds a lot of the time, but I did find my pastels from when I was a scrapbooker, and I used those in there. Um, and I tried to use mostly the pastel pencils from the Brute Funer Macaron set. There are some Derwent um, drawing pencils in there because they've become my favorites. And then here's some things. Well, actually, I did sort of finish this one that was like paint a page every day. And I was working on the, or paint a picture every day kind of thing. And I was working on the background, but I'm not sure what I really want to do with it. So that background is really not done so I guess you could call this uh, a whip I don't know um and then this one I'm coloring with a set of 
neon pencils that I, I don't know, I bought, I think I bought them at Barnes and Noble. I don't really have a whole lot of places to buy supplies. Um, so I wanted these um, mushrooms to be neon and they actually are neon and they glow under the black light. Um, so it's a little bit hard to see since it's daylight outside. Um, but I wanted those mushrooms to be like, ooh, really cool. And actually even these up here. And then I want to try to do the rest of her normal. And I'll, I'll try to finish this page up. But I really admit that I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to skin and hair. Because I don't really color people all that often. And then this page I just kind of started on a whim. I um, bought some paper that I could print uh, coloring pages on. This is a bamboo paper. And um, so I started coloring this candy. And or the candy apples, and I'm actually really proud of myself for how I did those apples, and um, I just didn't actually get it finished, but this one's a candied apple, and um, I'm working on still making a little bit of a shine on it, but I really, uh, I worked hard on that, the apples to make them look like apples instead of just like straight up color, but that's what I colored in October.